I'll flip that back over and put some glue in. It's nice if you can get a little glue on both uh, both ledges of this dado cut here so we have a nice uh, glue surface. I should have mentioned that um, the very first step is actually to read through your entire assembly instructions before uh, before you begin the assembly process. I know it's tempting to just dive right in and, and that may be fine, but uh, we often find that people that read through the entire thing first are more successful, have less problems, and are generally happier people. Very unscientific study, but okay. Glue in. Set this up. I can do this. Put that tape down just to real hold it in place real quick. If you're doing this on a dining room table, you might want to have a little um, newspaper down beneath the box so you don't get glue all over the table. Uh, now, it's nice if you can get a real uh, long piece of tape and go across the box like this. This will help draw the sides in to that inner ledge. sure your corners are flush before you get too much tape on there. Um, if you happen to um, not get them flush you can you can address that later but it's always best to take care of it now. Now we're gonna flip the box over. Wipe up my glue spots on the table. I wish I would have put something down but the camera was ready to roll. So I'm going to right away do the same thing on this side. Just tape across there like so. And good. Now you can actually set the box up like this. You can see this. I'll scoot this in a little bit. And you can I'll help you get a little pressure down. It'll be a little bit wobbly at first. Um, but it's amazing how strong the, the box is when we're all done, when everything's glued on. Should see a little glue squeeze out like this. That means you've used the appropriate amount of glue.
pretty much it for that. I'm going to let that dry for an hour or so and then we'll come back and we'll glue on the top or the front and the back. See you later.